my name is Tukumaya and I've been with UWA Fencing since November 2009. I'm an exercise physiologist at Sir Charles Gardner. I have a degree in sports science. I got a post degree in sports administration and a master's with the International Fencing Federation. And what I most enjoy about fencing is the challenge of the game. It's what we call chess with muscles. And there is a lot of cognitive aspect, physical aspect, and also there's a mental side of the game, which is fascinating. Well, I've been coaching since my graduation. So I enjoy about coaches to pass to my students, my experience, everything I learned from fencing. And that's about teaching. Teaching is very important. It's about education. My name is Mandy and I've been with the UWA Fencing Club for almost two years now. I think I really enjoy trying to master the tactical side of the sport. So trying to figure out how to outwit my opponent, how to pick the right moment to strike. Um, it's definitely something that it takes time. It takes time to be able to learn those skills. I'm George and I've been with the UWA Fencing Club for about four years now. I enjoy quite a few things. Uh, one of the things that's quite enjoyable is uh, just socially getting to meet people, but I also enjoy the atmosphere of competitions, especially when you're doing well and you've got people behind you and wanting you to do well. So the rules for EPE involve trying to score points on your opponent's body, anywhere on their body, using the tip of the blade. There are other rules regarding uh, your respect for your opponent, everyone around you, and making sure that everything's done fairly. Generally, you want to try and get to five points and hit but not be hit. So at our training sessions, we usually start off by doing a few light stretches uh, and just a warm up to get our heart rates going. Uh, then the coach will take us through some exercises, some drills, learning new techniques, that kind of thing. In that process you might work on some small skills like footwork uh, and basically other skills that are good for the sport and after that you might have a short drill to work on a certain technique within fencing and then after that you'll probably have uh, free fencing and fencing anyone you want really. Well the UWA Fencing Club has a long history. It started in the 70s Early 2000s, there was a French coach here doing a good job. He moved and then they invited me to come over. And then I'm with the club since 2009. The infrastructure that we have, there's not many clubs in Australia or not even in the world. They have the facilities we have with permanent pistes, permanent staff. Because fence is a quite amateur sport and we try to bring a new level here at the UWA and then we become one of the best clubs in the country and probably one of the best in the world. Personally, I've had quite a few opportunities. Well, at the moment, I'm on the Talented Fencers program for the Australian Fencing Federation. And I have recently been to Singapore for a competition. Competitions like that are, are really good, especially when you have people there who know you, they're there to support you and they want you to do well. My experience overseas, well, I've been traveling all my life, so, I've been from the Olympics to the Little League with the state kids in here. Actually, a few hours ago, I just came from Rio, which I was working to organize the event for the Rio Olympics. And I'll be returning to Rio in July for the whole Olympics and the Paralympics. The atmosphere at the club is very much like a big family. And the more advanced fences are always more than happy to come and give you a few tips, have a few bouts with you. The atmosphere is great, it's very friendly, everyone knows each other pretty well. Anyone who's new, they're welcomed in easily. When I started here, we had about 20 to 30 members. Today we have about 130 members in a fraction of five years and we create this family environment. I think my highlight of being at the fencing club is definitely all the great friends that I've got to meet both UWA students as well as lots of people in the broader community. And there's also the fact that I've been able to work on my fitness and develop myself as an athlete. To anybody who was thinking of becoming a member, I would definitely say just send us an email, give us a ring uh, and come and give it a shot. Uh, we cater to all levels of experience, skill and a variety of age brackets. Anyone from any walk of life can join. You don't have to be, you don't have to be fit. 
Uh, you don't have to be young. Now it's fascinating sports. We provide all the equipment for the beginners. We'd love to see you at the club. Come and join us.